Howdy y'all, welcome back. Wife and I here. As you guys see, we got this sweet Supra in. This one got some hail damage. Check that out. Very, very clean setup. Still running factory manifold. This thing fires right up, purrs like a kitten. I love it, it's got a dead battery, but other than that, purrs like a kitten. Anyways, uh, we got this one in for hail damage like I had said. It was in at a body shop getting some work done and unfortunately one of the big storms came through, beat this thing up real good. Uh, the big ones that we've got are like right here on the door. You can see it cracked the paint out actually. Um, so it kind of got hit everywhere. The roof, luckily it did not break out the sunroof. It did break out this back glass. He did get it replaced. Uh, but that's like the major major issues with it. Other than that, this paint was really nice. Car was really straight. We're deleting the antenna um, right here as well, cleaning that up. We've got another big dent here. Uh, other than that, exterior, same color, just cleaning up a bunch of things. Got a little dinger on the fender that we're touching up as well. This thing's really clean, should be real easy, real fast. Uh, with that being said, we're gonna dive into it. We're gonna do this one just the way that we do the rest of them and uh, kind of go from there. So start with the boring stuff and get to the fun stuff. Hope you guys enjoy today's video. Let's dive into it. All right, y'all, new day here. We've got the super back in. We've got some tape on it. We're getting ready to guide coat this thing. We're gonna guide coat it all black. I just kind of wanted to walk around. Like I said, we're doing hail damage repair on this and it was a pretty clean car, but we've got a little bit going on on this edge here. You can kind of see where it's been painted or something happened there. So we're gonna go through, touch all that type of stuff up as well on it. But we do have our guide coat and uh, the wife's just gonna start guide coating this thing and making it black. This is a off brand of 3M. It's way cheaper and it comes with a handle, works just as good. So we're gonna start on that and then get the car jacked up and then I'm gonna go through and start addressing these big spots that we have. Start feathering those back and uh, see See how it goes. Don't worry, we will remove this sticker as well. You can already see the dents. Yep, you can already see kind of where the guide coat isn't going into the dents. So that's gonna give us a real, real good idea of what we're working with. And like this, like I said, this is just, we've only washed the car, cleaned the car, and um, it does have a little overspray on it right now, but we've cleaned it, washed it, it's all ready to go. So we're just gonna start sanding it from here and see kinda what it gives us. We got this whole thing guide coated and I started blocking this fender and this is what we're looking for. It shows us everything. I mean, you can even see how much texture was in the clear coat before all of our dents. But man, look at this. Good old city of Saginaw code enforcement had to come by. Had to meet old Jeremy down there. Super nice guy, super nice guy. The dang neighbors had to go and call us in. We got a Karen around here. Uh, but that ain't gonna stop us from working. We're just gonna keep doing what we do. Um, it was mainly about the cars outside, but we don't even really have any cars outside. We've got the Plymouth, the CRV, and the 8th Gen. Those are both registered and running vehicles. And the Plymouth's the Plymouth. So I'm gonna get it moved out of the way, and then we're just gonna keep doing what we do. Uh, I'm super cool with most all of our neighbors. So the one neighbor that is mad, I'm sorry that you guys are mad at us for it, but if you're watching this video, hey, you're gonna have to get over it because we're gonna keep working on cars in here. So we've got the Supra, we're gonna get this thing pounded out. I'm gonna block all of it out. I'm just doing a super rough um, sanding on this just so I can find all the dents. Once I get all the dents fixed, all the body work done, we'll go over the whole car, 400, 600, whatever it be, get it all ready for paint. So let's dive into uh, blocking this thing. Well, let's skip the blocking and show it blocked. I still got half the roof and the hood to do. But man, my arms were tired, so I gave them a break and started pulling some dents. It's currently like uh, 11 o'clock. 
at night. I'm gonna start doing all my work at night while everyone's sleeping. Then I won't disrespect the neighbors or bother anyone that way. So um, I'm on this fender here. I've got the glue gun warming up. I've got the little dent puller out. This is a like PDR tool. So I'm just back here inside the wheel well, trying to massage these ones out, the ones I can get to, the other ones I'm gonna put glue tabs on and pull. Um, I'll take you guys along for a couple of them here in a time lapse. Just kind of show how I'm doing it. These ones up here are gonna be tougher to pull, but we'll get them pulled out. This one here I'm gonna have to open up because it is all rusty. So we'll open that whole area up and make sure that everything underneath this isn't rusty and kind of go from there. So let's dive into pulling some dents. y'all so as you've seen I was pulling some dents up here pulled a couple dents over here I'm still working on this one here it's been a bugger I worked a couple in the fender this one up here I still am working on this is a dent here so I'm going to sand this out my tab just keeps pulling the paint off of it but as soon as I get that knocked out man these will be just flying right along here this one here is gonna be a little bit of work but I've got this one as you guys can see, I got this one pulled and it came out really good. I tapped down a little bit of a high spot there. That one's gonna take real minimal. There's one, oh man, they're gonna be tough to find. There's one right in here. As you guys can see, it's kind of shiny and then dull. This is where I sanded with 180 grit to make sure it's good. There is one right in here, right there that I got out. This one right here, it came out really good. As you guys can see, I got all of the line right back there in the sunroof. So it is all right where it needs to be. You almost can't even tell. There's a little one right here. I've got one right here and one right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean all this side of the car up and I'm gonna mud those spots and then I'm gonna come back to these trouble child spots and work those a little bit more, get mud on those. And then hopefully get this whole side of the car knocked out. I wanna get all my Bondo done I wanna get it all feathered in, and then I wanna get this whole side of the car ready for primer. Um, so I'll just make those spots a little bit bigger, clean it all up, and I'm gonna leave it all looking like this, just kinda of all the guide coat all over the place, and I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna spot prime everything. So I'm gonna prime all of my spots that I have, feather all of those, and then I'm gonna 600 this whole entire car and uh, get, it, get it looking right. So that way it'll all be smooth, it should all be good, and then I'll seal it real quick. Um, sealer should cover everything that I need, then it will go ahead and paint this thing. So it should go pretty quick, I think we're going to go pick up some paint for it tomorrow, and uh, get ready to shoot it. So for now, I'm going to clean it, throw some Bondo on it, and uh, get ready to sand it out. Got me a little cup of noodles. Got some mud on these spots. They went real well. I'm gonna let these uh, few sit. Hit a couple more spots on this side. I seen I missed one right here. So I need to address it. I'm gonna hit it. Just kinda keep working on this thing. So I will catch you guys after I have the whole car blocked, or mudded, excuse me, and possibly blocked. I'm just gonna throw it in time lapse and just work my way around this thing and get it knocked out. So, catch y'all after we get it, uh, all the dents taken care of.
All right, y'all. I forgot to update you along the way. The GoPro battery died last night while I was blocking and I just totally forgot to pick up, uh, put a battery in it and just got busy today and we had so much going on. But anyways, Supra is ready for primer. We've got it bagged up. I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna spot prime all the hail damage spots. So that's why there is still guide coat on the roof. It'd probably be best to take it all off, but I sanded me a big enough area around it. Those are big enough. And I'm just gonna come spot prime all of this. And with the spot primer, I'm gonna let it dry, come back, block all the spot primer. After it's all spot primed and I'm happy, if I don't have any other imperfections on it, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's all sanded and then seal this thing. I'm gonna sand the whole entire car again with 400 and then seal every bit of this car white when it comes time to paint it. Um, so I know everything will be smooth, uniformed, covered, everything will be good that way. Um, so once it's sealed, I'll be super happy and then we're gonna base on top of that. So right now I'm gonna go ahead, make up some primer and uh, shoot all these spots that we have. I think there was like, don't hold me to it, but I think there was like 40 something um, Bondo spots. And then there was nine PDR spots that I was able to like get out that didn't need anything. Um, there was a couple in these spots here on both sides and those ones kind of pulled. I don't know if they were hail dense or what they were, but was able to get those ones pulled. A couple on the roof um, and then a few on that driver's side. So there was a couple that came out without, I think they don't need anything. That's why I'm gonna seal it. Once it's sealed, I am gonna sand my sealer too to make sure I don't have any imperfections. So this whole thing will get guide coated again Anyways, let's dive into it. At this point, I would have been better off just priming the whole car. Anyways, we've got all our spots primed. And this thing's looking pretty dang good. I'm happy with the way that all the primer spots are looking. Through here, all those look nice. You can't see any of the halos or anything like that where I applied the Bondo, so they all look really good. Um, I did it in layers, so I should have no heavy edges, everything is feathered really nice all the way around. So no hard edges, everything should sand out real nice. Tomorrow, again, we're gonna guide coat the whole entire car. I'm gonna 320 all of these spots, um, 400 them, and then we're gonna 400 the whole car. Um, get it down where it needs to be, and uh, get it ready for some sealer and some paint. So let's dive into that tomorrow. All right. We're getting close to wrapping this thing up here, getting ready for some paint. We went down to English Color yesterday and got, of course, Matrix for this thing. You know, nothing but the best. So, uh, I didn't want to use any local paints and my boy Chad down there at English Color, you just, you can't argue with the guy and Jessica and Will, they're just so cool to go see. So we made the drive down there. This uh, is a factory tri-stage color on the Supra from back in the day. Factory color, factory, factory. We're gonna mix all this up and get ready to seal it. Those are a bunch of feathered edges. Overall, real happy with the way that the edge is feathered on this thing. All right, real happy with the way the edge is feathered. This thing is ready to go. I do have the base coat. 
Um, but real quick, I want to give a shout out to my boy Michael. He hooked us up with these lights. Yeah, I know that's really bright. Five of them. I got one down here so I can shoot the front bumper. Look at the difference. Just a difference. They are a blue light versus a white light like these ones. Um, but that'll be okay for what I'm doing with it today. Um, and this one works out really well. If we uh, kill the big lights, boom. So that's a normal garage light there with just that little guy on. It works really, really well. So if you're not trying to have a paint booth in your garage, definitely find my boy. I'll put his link in the description below. But those things are super handy. Um, we're gonna set some up on the walls. I got four of them. Make it really bright on the sides because you can see it's a little dark down here. It's really nice and bright up top. So need to add those. But yeah, real quick, you guys will go hit them up if you need some garage lights. Those things work perfect. Anyways, we are going to tape this thing and uh, I think I'm gonna shoot it in the morning. It is white, and if you look, bugs. bugs. And there's green bugs. So there's very few bugs that can get through this screen, but the green bugs, they get through, and if I had a green bug land in this thing, it'd stick out like a sore thumb. So I think I'm just gonna shoot it early morning tomorrow when I don't have any green bugs and everything can dry. So we'll catch you guys in the morning when we're shooting this thing. Check it out. White sealer is down and sanded. Went through, denibbed it, found a couple little spots. Went ahead and knocked all those out. Got everything right where I want it and ready for base coat. So, cleaned up the car. This thing's looking really, really good. Everything's blended real nice. It's all white, 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 white. Time to shoot some color on it. This thing is going back factory, tri-stage white. Um, I'm not even sure what the paint code is on it, to be honest with you. Uh, I just went to English and uh, had them make it. I just gave them the VIN. It's 042. White Pearl. It is what it is on that one. Anyways, we're going to dive into it and uh, get this thing cleared. I will be using Finish One Clear Coat. Stuff comes out real nice. Anyways. Let's shoot it. I got my coats on and I am currently checking it for coverage to make sure everything is covered make sure I don't have any crazy dents make sure there are no gray spots just making sure everything is right where I want it before I go and put my pearl down because once I put pearl down no going back it's uh, pearl clear coat done so, let's dive into that.
it is currently the next day. I got carried away. It got really hot um, yesterday while I was painting. So I just stopped filming because with the headband on, I was just sweating way too much. And I really wanted to focus on getting this thing covered. It is a tri-stage pearl white. And if anybody knows that's watching a little bit about paint, whites you can get lost in them really easy. And I didn't want that to happen to me because I was just worried about sweat and worried about camera, so many things. So I did get this thing wrapped up. It came out really, really good. It is a tri-stage white, tons of hail damage repair. Man, just, just a really nice color. With the blue light, it's actually like a blue reflection. We did get it unbagged. I unbagged it while it was still a little tacky. Um, just, I was happy with the way everything looked, so I wanted to get the bag pulled on it. Um, with that being said, we went ahead and put the wheels on it so I can get it outside. It is the weekend, it's currently Saturday, and that means I get to work on the Plymouth today. So we're going to get this thing all back together on Monday and uh, get ready to go home. So we will catch you all on the install. All right, there y'all have it. The Supra is complete. We're actually getting ready to take this thing back home. So I'm gonna leave it running because the battery was low on it. Um, so it's done. I'm gonna do a quick walk around on it and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This thing came out really good. It is the factory pearl white back on it. We've got the black lip on it down here side moldings this thing is just fresh real real fresh so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video please like subscribe share and make sure to check out the other ones we've got the plymouth coming up and the right hand drive 11 so catch you guys later